Uh, all right, Friday Night Flies. Hello. We got Kara. Introduce yourself. Howdy, folks. You're, you're, the, you're the first lady okay, tire we've know. had on this show yet. Oh, yay. I just yeah. so you know. Breaking we boundaries. We haven't set the bar very high for you yet, but... Uh, <laughs> You are uh, the bar. Anytime we can get a lady on there with a pretty smile, <laughs> hopefully our ratings go through the roof. Yeah. Anyhow, Kara, introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Kara, and uh, I'm going to tie up a very simple fly today. It's a blood worm with a little grizzly hackle. Works really good all over the place. All over BC. I've used it in Yukon and Alaska, and it's super simple to tie. So you can tie a bunch, give some to your friends. Or keep them all for yourself. Whatever you want. Keep them all for yourself. That's the woman's Good ass. Keep them all for yourself. Uh, you want to go back to your friends? Friends? I'll take it down there and you can just kind of tell them a little bit about it before we get going on time. Yeah, see right now change. we're actually, see the lights on the camera over there? Yep. And so here. We kind of threw you under the bus. But <laughs> uh, we got, okay, we're going to go in and we'll see the pattern. There it is. So maybe tell us a little bit about this pattern. You fished it in British Columbia. You fished it in the Yukon, you fished it in Alaska, and you caught fish everywhere you fished with it, right? Yes. Yes, I have. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Super simple. <laughs> Sounds like when you surprised. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Anyhow, and, there it is. That's the pattern. And you can use any kind of red thread you want. This happens to have a little sparkle in it. Ah, flashy. I'm brave. Oh, I like flashy red. Anyhow, let's, let's get that out of there. Let's, get, uh, let's see you tie one of these bad boys. I'm eager to see it tied. All right, I just have a nice little size 16 hook here, and it is um, kind of a little, one of those little bent ones, nymphish kind of. Like a caddis hook. Yeah. yeah. And. Here we go. Work the magic. Do a few wraps up near the top of the head where you think you're going to put your hackle, which should be pretty close to the head, but of course always leave room to finish it off. And do your knot and uh, some, leave a little bit more room. For sure, because you don't want to be bunching everything up at the end. That gets frustrating, especially when you get a lot of glue in your eye of your hook. Yeah. Oh, I love that. You make the perfect fly, and then you're like, oh, and I've just tied over the eye. Yeah, yeah. it cuts into your fishing time. Yeah. Big time. Big time. Yeah. And depending on how thick you want your body, sometimes I go once or twice up and down. Just get the right thickness that you like. You know, it's supposed to look like a little blood worm, so give it a little bit of beefiness there so the fish are going yum. I want to eat that. And then you get the hackle. What do we like got there? Use, a little grizzly hackle? A little grizzly hackle. I like to use the, sort of the thinnest ones I can because the hook is fairly small, so you want everything proportionate. And I just take my finger and kind of flare it a little bit so that it wraps nice. Tie on that head. Just tie it around a couple times, trim it back, and then wrap it up to the front just a little bit. But of course, like I said, leave room for that time you're not to finish off the fly. Wrap it around. I'm going to go to camera voice. And I wrap it around just a few times, three, four, until it looks full enough, but not too full. You don't want it too bunchy, because then it doesn't look right. And this hackle gives it a really nice little bubbly, when it's in the water, it gives a nice little bubble effect to it, tracks the fish. Okay. Yeah. So it looks you're already like thinking about what you're tying it with, aren't you? Yeah. So what would you use? I'd probably do the same, but I would try and find a, uh, I think, I would get a red one. Red and hackle. Oh, look at it. Or grizzly go. hackle. I thought you would have been going with something different. Yeah, there you go. And just finish off the head. Nice and tight knot. Um, CBC. CBC, yeah. CBC. Oh, CBC. Yeah. <laughs> I just made the, the alarms go off. Well, CBC. How can we get we all have in this? <laughs> <laughs> You should go and watch a whole bunch of our episodes. We've been become addicted to UV oh, yeah. in the last yeah. uh, six, eight months. Well, you could tie with like red. Uh, you can get UV oh, right. cocktail now. You can get UV Marabou. You can get. And there you have it. That. So, you know what? She just put us to shame because she's better looking. That at was faster than she tied. Yes, I. In. 
an eighth of the time that Scotty and I tie flies. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yours are quite a bit more fancy than mine are. Well, that one but, will catch fish just as equally yeah. as good. I, a I fancy fly just costs more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. Sure, great time. That's so, uh, Carol will be back next week. I've got a feeling she's going to be back. Barring that she doesn't drown in the Birkenhead River <laughs> this week. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you have a guidance for the uh, permanent fish yeah. finder? Yep, so. they're going to try. Try and impress the boys, keep me hired. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We've, uh, there's lots of ladies that like to fish with guys, ladies. and um, ladies like to fish with ladies. And oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's good, good to have time. a, a a little bit of... <laughs> How does it look? It looks fantastic. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we'll go up the top camera there. Okay. Uh, and we'll find out. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Man, you're like straight to the point. You don't even like mess around. Good night. Okay, we're <laughs> Keep a tight line. <laughs> okay, another episode. We're going to get her back behind this place again, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> and Greg, your wife is awesome. <laughs>